Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Crash injuries, maritime accident, and injuries overview. A crashing accident can cause devastating injuries from loose lime to crushed and broken bones, and even to death depending on the severity of the demix. In the maritime industry, there are many ways that an accident can cause someone to suffer a crash injury. Failing cargo on a ship, a part fissile or crane accident that spin a worker, or a fall overboard that leads to someone being crushed between two vessels. If you have suffered an accident that causes a crash injury, your first concern should be getting emergency medical care. Once you are stable and understand the extent of your injuries, you can start to think about what your rights are under separate under federal laws for workers, compensation or compensation through the Jonas X. A maritime lawyer can help you determine what your rights are and will help you fight for what you deserve. And then next about what are cross injuries. Cross injuries are any injuries that are caused by pressure to part of the body that is severe enough to result in physical damage. That damage may be as minor as a bruise or as severe as broken, splinters, bones, or collapsed, or punctured lungs. Cross injuries occur most commonly in the legs or feet. Upper extremity cross injuries are the next most common types, followed by cross torso. The obvious result of a cross injury are damage to tissue. A cross accident can cause skin damage, cuts and tears, broken bones, injuries nerves, and damaged organs. In addition to these outcomes, there are other more serious and less obvious complications associated, associated with cross injury. And then next, complication of cross injuries. A cross injury may not seem life-threatening although they can seem very serious. For instance, a crossed leg may be devastating, but it can also lead to deaths from a little-known condition called rabum silicis. This occurs when the crossed muscle tissue begins to break down. The broken down component circulates into the blood and must pass through the kindness. The kindness may not be able to process all if the material and may get blocks and stop working. The result is toxicity in the blood that can be deadly. This is also called cross syndrome. Another very serious potential complication of cross injury is sepsis or systemic infection. The open wounds caused by a crust can cause infection to set in, depending on the type of injury and how severe it is. Inner tissue, like deep muscles and bone, may be exposed to infection. A systemic infection can lead to death if not treated aggressively. Compartment syndrome is another complication that can result from any type of crash injury. This occurs when pressure builds up in a confined space within the body. 
This can lead to oxygen, starvation to that part of the body and cell death. Compartment syndrome caused by a cross injury is considered acute and can lead to limb loss, paralysis, or even death. And then next, treating cross injuries. All crosses should be taken seriously and require emergency medical care. Immediate first aid usually involves stopping any bleeding by applying pressure, covering the crossed area with a bandage and elevating that area of the body above the heart if this is possible. If any damage has been done to the neck or head, the person is stabilized to avoid further harm. Medical professionals treat cross injuries in different ways depending on the specific of the injury. In general, through the patient is given fluids to prevent whole blood pressure and shock. The patient is then usually given treatment for treating potential kidney failure. Emergency surgery may be needed to stop bleeding and repair damage or the relief the pressure of compartment syndrome. Infection are treated with antibiotics. A patient may need multiply follow-up surgeries to repair damage and to restore function to the affected part of the body if possible. And then next cause of crash injuries in maritime setting. Crash injuries are the unfortunate result of accident that often occur in maritime work and environment. Any job that requires working around big equipment and large cargo means that crossing injuries are possible. In a part for instance, a worker may get crossed between a far leaf and a wall during an accident or by a crane in operation. Cargo boat and ship and import can also cause crash injuries if it falls on a worker. A fall into the water can also cause a worker to be crossed between two vessels or between a ship and a dogs. The most intenses of cross injuries caused by maritime accident are preventable. For instance, fall from a ship into the water are often caused by poor deck condition and clutter that is easy to trip over. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give like, comment, and subscribe.